Russia has launched fresh attacks across Ukraine, targeting new cities in the country's west. Missile strikes and shelling have hit the western cities of Lutsk and Ivano-Frankivsk. It's the first time this territory has been hit since the invasion began. Tens of thousands of refugees have been fleeing through the nearby civilian hub of Lviv under the belief it was safer. Satellite images have also captured a large convoy of Russian forces near Kyiv, moving closer to the capital. The ABC's Sean Rubenstein Dunlop is in Lviv. A warning, this report does contain some distressing images. Outside Kyiv, a Russian convoy meets its end. Ambushed by a Ukrainian drone strike, Russian troops were forced to retreat. There was a big column moving towards Kyiv. We organised an ambush and destroyed the head of the column. The Ukrainians have held on to their capital for now, but in a war with Russia, there are so many front lines. Ukrainians are still outnumbered and outgunned, but remain defiant. Yeah, they have a lot of people, a lot of tanks, a lot of their vehicles and techniques, but uh, we fight in our land and uh, we protect our families. So. It doesn't matter how they fight. We fight like lions and they won't win. But Russia's assault on a hospital in the city of Mariupol yesterday in which three people, including a six-year-old child, were killed, marked a turning point in the war. It's clear the enemy has changed tactics. Not able to defeat our forces on the battlefield, it shifted to a Syrian scenario, encircling and terrorising cities to cause suffering on our civilians. Mariupol suffered fresh airstrikes today. Russian forces have bombarded the city for more than a week. Many of its 400,000 people are trapped. We have no drinking water. It's minus 12 degrees in our flats. We have no gas and no food. We can't live like this. I don't have a home anymore. I'm just walking around until I find one. With more than 1,200 bodies collected from the streets in recent days, the only room for some is mass graves. The Kremlin is now denying responsibility for striking the maternity hospital, claiming the explosions were staged. It's also accusing the US, without evidence, of planning to produce biological weapons here in Ukraine. And it's taking those claims to the United Nations Security Council. They accuse us. Us. Spreading such accusations in the Russian media shows that it is them who are capable of this. In their first face-to-face -face meeting since the invasion began, the foreign ministers of both countries failed to reach a breakthrough. We cannot stop the war if the country which committed the aggression does not have a desire to do so. The United Nations has verified 26 attacks on Ukrainian health workers and facilities so far. Fearing the worst, this hospital in Kharkiv in the east has moved its patients to the hallways, away from windows. Valentina shares a poem she wrote. These stupid Russian shrapnel pieces I will carry all my life. But as long as my heart still beats, I will still live and love. It's feared the hospital attack that shocked the world yesterday won't be the last. Sean Rubenstein Dunlop, ABC News, Lviv. And Sean joins us now from Lviv. Sean, what do we know about these fresh attacks in western Ukraine? Well, Jeremy, blasts uh, have, uh, have been heard this morning in opposite sides of the country. Early this morning, just a couple of uh, hours ago, that includes in two cities in the country's far west, only a few hundred kilometres from where I am now in the city of Lviv. Uh, they included uh, bombings in Lutsk in Ukraine's northwest. Uh, an airfield and jet factory were targeted. Also, Ivano Frank. Kivsk uh, in Ukraine's southwest has been targeted. Russia has also bombarded the Ukrainian stronghold of Dnipro 
in the west, uh, in the east rather, uh, that city was considered safe and secure uh, until now. Uh, the targets included a shoe factory and one person uh, has, has so far been confirmed dead. Now this is undeniably an escalation in this conflict. Uh, the bombings particularly uh, which occurred uh, in the west so close to the Polish border will be causing panic and fear uh, throughout this part of Ukraine and also further into Europe.